Hey Tyler, in 2016 I want my faith to grow in such a way and to continually be in God's plan for me and watch it unfold in my life. And for you, I'm just very thankful that you keep going after God and your talents are for His glory, that you seek it all you do and that you are watching His purpose unfold in your life. And I thank you and I love you and have a great 2016. Tyler. Traveling to St. Louis with the whatever the hell I want squad meant more to me than anything that I've ever experienced in my life. Not only was I able to experience your show for the third time this year, I was able to share many heart to hearts with these amazing ladies. I got to tell them stories that I buried long ago and felt feelings that I never really knew existed. And I had no idea that your show would move me the way I did. I still think about whatever you said during In a Moment, and I'm still moved by it. Um, and even on the way home, whatever music was playing, I just, I felt the presence of God through it and knew that I was not alone. I have to say thank you for being a positive light for us to see, and I have to say thank you for, for giving me for whatever I said to you during your time of change. And I have to say thank you for being so passionate about music. That's so inspiring to me as a musician personally. And I have to say thank you for allowing us to see the real tea. Your, the change in you is just absolutely inspirationally beautiful. And I just want to say that my resolution for 2016 is to find my identity in Christ. I've been put up, putting it off, trying to get to know him for a while, and he's he's been moving he's been moving in me. And I found every excuse not to get to know why. And just along with these past few months, I will find out who I am through God, and I'll just become whoever I'm meant to be through him. And I know it's going to be absolutely wonderful. Um, so, thank you. Tyler, where do I start? Um, thank you for all that you've done. You're such an amazing person. I'm thankful for everything that you do, and I hope you, that you have an amazing new year, and God brings wonderful things into your life. I know he's going to. He has so many amazing things planned for you, and I can't wait for you to see what they are. Um, I love supporting you, and I'll be here 100,000 billion percent behind you, no matter what. Um, I hope you have an amazing and happy new year. I love you. My new year's resolution coming and bring in 2016 in is to grow more in my faith um to not let people get the best of you um just be okay with not being okay I mean Just be more honest with myself and people that care. Um, yeah. Well, I can't believe that it's the end of the year already. 2015 was a huge year for me. Um, I started out in the hospital and after my stroke, I felt as if I kind of didn't know who I was anymore. I'm just all, everything that had happened and I felt like I needed to figure out who I was. Um, and so I spent this whole year doing that and there's been a lot of ups and downs and twists and turns and surprises. Um, but it's actually turned out to be one of the best years of my life. And, um, I'm ending it now on this note where I know who I am now in the kind of sense, um, cause we're always searching for that. And I finally feel, um, confident in who I am as a person, um, so I think that my resolution for 2016 is to make no resolutions. Um, this, 
2015 was just a year of um, what's going to happen next. And um, I felt like I was genuinely living and um, just adventuring and doing things that I wasn't used to doing and uh, taking a bit more risk. And um, I want to continue that in 2016. And um, I want to continue to get to know myself better. I want to continue um, to find peace and I want to continue to take adventure and um, I think the biggest thing that I I want to do is um, I want to make an impact and um, I don't want any resolution that I might have to um, hold me back in a sense. So, 2016, no resolutions, um, be kind, be real, be adventurous, take risks, the good ones, but if there is bad ones, then we'll figure it out. Um, but let's just move on to better. Hey Tyler. So, lately I've been thinking a lot about finding my identity. I don't really know myself that well, and I consistently struggle with believing that I'm worth something. I constantly worry that I'm not pretty enough or smart enough, <clears throat> thin enough, funny enough, whatever enough. So because of that, I rarely am confident in myself. Then a couple weeks ago, I went on a little vacation and I got to spend some time with some really, really amazing women. And I know their stories and we talked and it just helped me realize that even though I don't believe it right now, I am enough and I am worth something. So in 2016, I want to really work on finding myself. I want to find a relationship with God. I want to believe that I am good enough and I want to work on all of that so that the bad things that have happened in my life don't affect me as a person and they don't affect the choices that I make or the people that I choose to associate with anymore and I just want to be comfortable in my own skin. I want to be confident in myself and sure of myself and I really just want to use 2016 to find my identity.